do I look orange? Um, I am old, my friends. I am not of this new tech generation. Hi, it's me, the lady with the two wardrobes. You asked for it, you're getting it. This is my spring summer wardrobe clear out. I'm tackling this today because in six days I'm going to Hawaii and this is all my summer gear and I need to sort through it so I know what I'm taking with me. I know that there is a lot of stock in here that stock, I'm talking shop talk, a lot of my clothing in here that I need to clear out, donate and sell. I am hoping to have this. I mean, it is so full you guys, I cannot fit. A single thing in here it's crazy it's crazy I have clothes everywhere I've got a rail here this is my studio by the way and sorry if I'm a bit echoey I'm using natural light so let's just go for it so this is all my vintage nightwear silk robes silk nightgowns these just need to be out of sight out of mind for the time being Okay. okay, so now we can begin. I'm gonna be telling you guys what's thrifted, what's retail. Yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens. All right, so yes, I thrifted this because it has a palm tree with Hawaii on it. The truth is, I don't really like this top. I'm not gonna wear this. Uh, am I? Maybe if I pull it back, it can create a high neckline. No, no, I've gotta be ruthless. This is getting donated. This is a tee that I got retail from Sports Girl. It was on sale, but I remember when I got it home, I tried it on and I was disappointed with the fit. So I'm gonna need to try this on again. As you can see, there is a theme. All these pieces I'm about to show you are Hawaii themed. And I keep all those pieces together because when I'm in Hawaii, I like to wear Hawaiian themed outfits. I'm the kind of person that dresses for the occasion. So this one, I've got to try on. This is vintage. I thrifted this. Hawaii with a little graphic in a soft yellow. I like this, I think it's cute. I'm gonna take this with me. This is vintage. I thrifted this ages ago and it's absolutely stunning. The color of it, the hibiscus flower print that's embossed on the fabric is stunning. The buttons on this are square and clear. It is a stunning piece and I wear this as an overshirt or as a little kind of mini dress because it is quite long. So that is definitely going with me. So this one I thrifted, the print, the color is gorgeous. I'm just not sure about this fabric. I only like to wear cottons and linens when I'm traveling. So this is viscose. I don't really want to be wearing viscose on my holiday. It's just, okay, I'm going to have to try that one on. This is vintage and stunning. I got this for this trip. I remember when I thrifted it, I knew I was going to take it with me and wear it as an overshirt because it's absolutely humongous on me. It's a men's shirt. Definitely coming with me. This was thrifted. It was in my Making Ugly Vintage look cute. And I was really surprised by how much I loved it when I styled it up. I think I'm going to take that with me and I'm going to wear it in exactly the same way. Same with this one. It was in the same video, Making Ugly Vintage look cute. I loved the way it looked as well. So I think I'm going to take that one too. This is a set that I got from H&M Retail. Love it. It's a little short and short sleeve shirt set. I mean, I'm definitely gonna wear this on my trip and I will also wear them as separate. So that is definitely coming with me. This is a new in piece that I got from Cotton On. It was on sale and it's a little set again. It's 100% cotton, a cute little short sleeve and the little shorts. I only wish that these shorts had pockets. I still love it. I think it's such a cute set and that is coming with me. I'm kind of into sets at the moment. So I thrifted this. It's a short sleeve rugby tee. It's a men's tee. I was thinking of wearing it as a dress, but this is very heavy cotton, you guys. I'm gonna get too hot in this. It's 100% cotton and that's great, but this is just way too heavy. I don't think I'm gonna take this. I think I may sell it. On my shop, I've created a new line that is going to be called, well, I've already started it. It's called the Tomboy Collection, where I style up men's pieces 
for a woman. So I might sell this one. Again, this is men's. I thrifted this. I love the colors. And this is a cotton linen blend. It kind of works in with the theme that I've already started very unintentionally, but there's a lot of yellows and blues. So I think this is gonna just fit in with that color scheme and it will be really easy to style and mix those pieces together. So that one's coming with me. So this is a little polo top that I thrifted. It's a cotton, what was it? Cotton polyester, viscose elastine. You know what? I'm gonna donate this. I thrifted this. It's a little cotton on tee. It says road tripper. I was planning on taking this with me again in the same kind of color scheme and these were the shorts that I styled up with this tee in the video which are also thrifted really cute colored shorts again they're going to work with the whole kind of theme I've got going on so I'll take those with me as well these are a pair of pants that I thrifted a while ago they kind of have a palm leaf print they're a cute silhouette they're really high-waisted but they're kind of form fitting really 70s vibe so maybe I will take these on the trip with me as well these are a vintage pair of Bermuda shorts that I thrifted in love with these but these are not going to come on the trip with me but nonetheless they're not going anywhere because I love them I thrifted this shirt dress very simple great cover up for the beach I think I'm going to take this with me as well this is a little beach dress that I thrifted years ago it's a little tiger lily dress but I have worn this on holiday in Hawaii it's in my photos so I'm not going to take this with me because I like to look different in my photos and by that I mean I like to have different outfits I don't want to look back at photos on past holidays and see myself in the same outfits I want to always have fresh little Outfits. So I wear this one in the summertime when I go to the beach. I am a coasty, so I do get lots of wear out of it. Just not for this trip. This is a little free people dress. It's a beach dress. It has pockets, halter neck, open back. So cute. I love wearing this to the beach. This is coming with me. This is a little sundress that I got from Bali and I wore this last time I was in Hawaii. Very cute but not coming with me. This is a tunic from Free People. I absolutely love it and I've worn it on a lot of holidays. I'm not taking it with me, but it's staying in my wardrobe. I bought this piece in Hawaii. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It's in a lot of my photos, so I'm keeping it, but it's not coming with me. These two caftans or tunics I bought from Bali, from Changu, a boutique in Changu. Absolutely adore both of them. They are absolutely gorgeous. I wore them last time I was in Hawaii, so these are not going to be part of my vacation wardrobe, but I love them and they are not going anywhere. So this is a very easy dress that I bought retail from Cronulla. It's got pockets and you can wear it either off the shoulder or on. It's a midi length, we'll kind of maxi on me, but I belt it and it's really beautiful, really flowy. It looks great without a belt as well because it's that gorgeous, you know, midi kind of maxi length. And I love, love that look. Very effortless. It's kind of an all you can eat dress so I can eat till my heart's content. I'm not sure if I should take it with me though. I thrifted this dress, it's stunning. I wore it to Byron. I also shot this dress as well. It's so beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I'm not gonna take it with me, but I love it. This also went with me on my last trip to Hawaii. I think I may have belted it, or maybe I left it long. This is actually a skirt, a maxi skirt that I thrifted, but I wear it as a little strapless dress really cute. This is also a strapless dress that I thrifted. I've had it for years. I wore it in Hawaii. It's absolutely stunning. I will never part with this. It's gorgeous. Another strapless dress. I love traveling in them because you can walk around and get a tan. No strap marks. It's great. They are great pieces. And this one was from Bali as well. Changu. Little boutique. Gorgeous print. I love that it's just two colors. I love that. I'm really into that at the moment. A beautiful midi length. I might 
take this with me actually. This is a very bright and colorful dress that I thrifted. I actually shot this look as well when I was in Hawaii last time. So bright and colorful, so beautiful, but yeah, I'm not gonna take it with me. This is a Camilla caftan. It was my mum's, she handed it down to me. I have worn it, I think I wore it in Bali last. Not coming on this trip, but definitely sticking around in my wardrobe. This is a gorgeous tunic that I bought retail from Ebon Ive. Such a gorgeous color. Oh my God, it's stunning. And the back, it's got a very low V back. It's really beautiful. This is vintage, very kind of Balinese when I look at it. It reminds me of Bali. I'll keep this dress for when I go to Bali again. It's beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful vintage dress. I love it. This dress, I thrifted vintage also another great piece for when I travel to Bali it's just that vibe right absolutely gorgeous you can wear this just loose or you can belt it it's just a beautiful beautiful dress I made a video on Grecian style so when I create a dedicated video I really commit to it and I will buy pieces that I may never wear again but adjust specifically for that video. So this is a piece that I would wear in Greece but nowhere else really. This is actually a size 18 and it's a ladies nightgown but I styled it up as a little dress. It looked adorable in the video so I'm going to put this aside. I think I'm going to make a pile of all the Grecian pieces and put them away in a little kind of box or something. Just keep them for when I eventually go to Greece with Gabriel. I do have a lot of pieces and they're taking up prime real estate in my wardrobe. So I will put that aside. This is a cami that I've had for years. I bought it retail. It's just so cute. It's cropped. It's very simple, but beautiful quality and looks great with high-waisted mini skirts, high-waisted pants, high-waisted shorts. So I'll probably take that with me. This is actually a new in piece. I bought this the other day. I think it is adorable. So I'm going to take that with me. This is a little crop top that I thrifted. I've worn it heaps, but I think I'm over it. I'm not into prints all that much. And the prints that I am into are usually just too colors. I don't know why that's just the vibe I'm into at the moment. So I am going to donate this one. I also thrifted this one. It is so cute. The little sweetheart neckline. Very, very cute. Again, I got so much wear out of this last summer, but I think I'm going to donate that one as well. I thrifted this recently and yeah, I was thinking of taking this with me. So now I have a white version of a little black flowy cami top. They're kind of, you know, staples when I travel. This is a cute little broidery anglaise off the shoulder top that I got from Zara. It's very sweet, very classic. This is, oh my God, this top I've had for so, so long, you guys. It's free people, very boho. It looks great with blue jeans. I love that on one side you have all this fringing and it's longer and then the other side is just plain. It's just really pretty. I'm holding on to this. This was actually a dress by Zulu and Zephyr. I bought it retail. The dress was just so long on me. Like it was past my ankles. There was fringing on the bottom as well. And I wore it as a dress and I loved it. But I kind of knew that I prefer it as a top. So I chopped it and it looks really nice kind of off the shoulder. And you know, I really love it as a top. And even though it's a knit, it hasn't unraveled. Another piece I thrifted for my Grecian style video. This is vintage silk. It's absolutely stunning. And I would only wear this in Greece. So I'm going to put this away, but it's it's such a beautiful, beautiful design. Very unusual. And I do love that video. I put so much effort into that video. I'm so proud of it. I'm very attached to it. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description box for you. If I remember. This is a gorgeous piece that I brought back from one of my travels to Thailand. It's a beautiful shape, very boho. I love the neutral color. I have worn it in Hawaii, so I'm not gonna take it with me, but you know, pieces from my travels, I love to keep as souvenirs. This one's also from Free People. I have had it for so many years. It's just a beautiful boho, gauzy white shirt, and it's 
it's stunning. It's really stunning. Another Free People piece that I bought ages ago. Free People pieces stick around in my wardrobe for years and years and years because they are kind of pricey and they don't really date because bohemian style, it's not really a trend. I love this piece and it's just beautiful. Look at the back. I think everything's getting blown out, but that's the back. This piece is stunning. I bought this from Hawaii, from a boutique that no longer exists, but it's stunning and it will never, ever, ever leave my wardrobe. Look at that. Again, just beautiful boho vibes. Love it. This is a little kimono duster that I bought retail. The brand is Sloan Rouge. And although this is a multicolored print, I love it and it's very light and gauzy. It's beautiful. Another piece from my Grecian style video, a print again. So this is meant to be the front with this zip, but I wore it like that. So the zip is in the back and it's a high neck. It looked beautiful in the video, it really did. If I'm ever gonna wear it, it's gonna be in Greece. So I'll just put that away, out of sight, out of mind. This piece was also for that video. This is more simple, but I will keep it for Greece. I bought this top retail from America from Forever 21. It's really cute and it's 100% cotton. You can wear it off the shoulder or on. It's got a balloon sleeve. It's timeless and easy to style because of this color palette. But I do think I'm over this piece, you guys. This is Free People. I used to wear it as a dress, but it's too short as a dress. So now I wear it as a top and I tuck it into midi skirts with all this bulk. That's pretty much all I can wear it with and it works. It's gorgeous. So I'm keeping that. This is a little cropped bra cami that I bought from Zara. I do not know what I was thinking. Obviously I was out of my mind. I do not define myself by my age, but seriously, these two little linen crop tops I got from Zara. I wore these to death. Actually to death, they are actually fraying. They've had their moment. I'm not gonna wear these. This piece is retail. It's by Joy and it's a linen tank top with this kind of halter neck style. Very classic, very timeless. I wear it so much. So this is staying. I thrifted this and it is gorgeous. I think the print is gorgeous. This little rose detail, it's just, so demure, but it's so uncomfortable. I don't know, it's the way they've sewn it inside. You can't really, it's too tight. It's just, no. Another piece that I purchased from the Zara sale. Very cute, love this blue, neutral, just gorgeous. So keeping that. I thrifted this tippy tank top in this gorgeous pink. It's that color, my friends. It's stunning. It's so, so beautiful, love it. I thrifted this because I love yellow and I have these yellow and maroon baseball pants and I thought this would look really cute with those pants for the summer. I'm gonna try styling up that outfit and hopefully it'll work, otherwise I can donate it. This is vintage. I thrifted this for the Grecian style video. Again, I'm gonna put that away for that trip. I bought this retail from Scotch and Soda. It's a gorgeous Kelly Green top. I wear it like that but I also wear it back to front because I love a high neck. So both ways look stunning. It's got a little ruffle sleeve, love it. Okay, we're back. I had to change the battery. So it may look a little different, doesn't matter. Let's continue. This is a top that I thrifted. I actually like wearing this when I film because you only see this half of me, not this half. So this is cute, this is pretty, I'm gonna keep it. I need to take off this rack the pieces for my trip because it's getting heavy and it's starting to sway, so I need to move these somewhere. I'll just dump them on a chair for now. So I thrifted this little cropped shirt. It's got a little love heart print, really cute. I photographed it, but do I want to keep it still? Yes. This is a vintage linen shirt in white. I think I am going to... It's cute though, it's got these little tab details here. You see that there? Little cap sleeve. It's really pretty, but I have this white linen shirt now that I got from H&M and it's oversized and I love it. So, oh my God, this is too blown out. I need to change the lighting. Is that better? Let's continue. I 
thrifted this. This is vintage nautical vibes, but I am going to actually sell this. I really am because it's just too, I don't know, there's something about it that feels too kind of, what's the word? Literal, obvious. Just, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm gonna donate it. I got this from Suzanne, it was on sale. Red and white sleeveless shirt, so gorgeous. This is a linen plaid shirt that I got retail from Beach Lunch Lounge. It's so gorgeous, I love it. I wear it every summer. This is a linen shirt that I got for my Making Ugly Vintage Look Cute video. It looked really cute the way I styled it up, but I'm not sure about this embroidery. I'm going to sell it because it's just this embroidery that I'm not really into, so I'm gonna sell it. This is a H&M blouse that I got. It's so boho, kind of Western as well. So cute, right? I wear it every spring, summer season, so I'm gonna keep that. This is a blue and white stripe linen top that I just absolutely love so much more. This is me. This vibe, that beautiful blue stripe, just stunning, I love it. I forgot that I was contemplating what I was gonna do over these two linen shirts. I think I'm gonna pass the vintage one and I'm gonna keep the oversized linen one and also take with me on my trip. This is a H&M shirt, blue and white stripe. It's nice. It's classic, but I have many blue and white striped shirts. Do I really need this one as well? I don't know. What do I do? Do I keep it or not? I'm gonna keep it. Shirts are my thing. I love this one, H&M, red and white, vertical stripe. Love, 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 love. Similar to the blue one. This is 100% cotton. Love it. This is a yellow shirt that I've had for ages. It's vintage. I don't think I wore it last summer. I might sell this, because I've got another yellow shirt that I love it's more warmer. These cool tone yellows don't suit me as much as the warmer yellows. Maybe I should part with this one as well. I thrifted this beautiful ruffle blouse. I love it. It's so beautiful and it will even look beautiful with grey denim. Yes, I love that. I bought this retail. This is a gorgeous knit. This beautiful orange red is my favorite tone of red. I have a lipstick in this exact same color. This little detail here is gorgeous because I wear a strapless bra and so it just shows some skin there. Oh, it's gorgeous. So I'm never gonna sell that. H&M linen shorts. Okay, I'm gonna sell these. They're too tailored for me. I want something a little more casual and a little less tailored than this. So I'll sell those. Here come my Bermuda shorts collection. I go on and on about how much I love Bermuda shorts. I think I always will. But actually, I may change my mind because I'm still figuring out my style. So I may change my mind. I'm allowed, you know, women are renowned for it. Oh, I forgot to show you. This one's in a beautiful warm yellow and this one is in cornflower blue. These are all the same style. They're vintage and they're all by the same designer. So then I have this beautiful, gorgeous blue and classic navy blue as well. I have this linen skirt that I thrifted, a midi linen skirt with pockets, high-waisted, gorgeous. This linen skirt I bought from Suzanne. It's tiered with this gorgeous, quirky polka dot. I mean, how cute is that, you guys? Oh, look, the sun's, the sun's gone away. Maybe I can open the blinds a bit now. Is that too bright? Okay, so yeah, love that. Okay, so this is a mini sports skirt. It's vintage, I thrifted it, and I love it. This will always stick around in my wardrobe. It's classic, gorgeous, but the skirt behind it, I think I'm going to donate. So I'll keep this one. It's got a pinstripe, a navy pinstripe, and look at the back. It's absolutely stunning. So this skirt I thrifted from Byron Bay. It's really cute but it's too big. It's too big on me and it gapes all around. So I think I'm gonna donate that one. These two skirts I thrifted for my Grecian style video. So I have this one, you may remember them, and then there's that one. So I will pack those away. These two were also in my Grecian style video. I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown. This lighting is driving me insane. If this footage is grainy, when I upload it to my computer, 
I'm gonna die because I can't film this again. So these two skirts were also for the Grecian video. This one, I absolutely, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. And this one is pretty too, but do I need both? Listen, I'll just put them away for Greece. I don't have to make any decisions now. Why stress myself? This one was also for my Grecian style video. And I'll do the same thing. I thrifted this skirt. When I washed it, the color transferred and I'm really upset about it. Maybe it's not that noticeable, but I know it's there. And so I'm bothered by it. I'll show you where it is. Look, do you see all that transfer? You know, it's just annoying. It was vintage and I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. So it's a scarf print skirt, really pretty, midi length, but I'm not gonna wear it because of that. So I'm gonna donate that. And this skirt is very boho. I thrifted this as well. Am I into this print? I don't know if I want it or not. I don't know. Um, I'll just keep Okay, I thrifted this skirt and it's very Hawaiian and I wasn't really in love with it at first, but when I tried it on and I styled it up, I thought it was really pretty. So maybe that'll work for my Hawaiian trip. And this skirt I thrifted ages ago and I absolutely love it. The teared midi skirt in this beautiful coral color. I love it. No, I've got to keep it. Okay, God, we've got three skirts on one hanger. So this is a beautiful silk skirt that Wendy, my subscriber, thrifted for me. I'm keeping that. It's beautiful. It needs to have a moment. I want to wear it on a night out or something. I don't know. I think it's just so beautiful and it's reversible. You can wear it both ways. So pretty. And then I have this skirt, Maxi, bought retail from Goddess of Babylon, a Byron Bay label. So pretty, right? Very, very beautiful color. And I don't know, there's something about it that I think is timeless. So I'll keep that as well. And this skirt is also vintage. I adore this piece. I adore it. It's so beautiful, soft and gauzy. The print is stunning. It's a two color print. So timeless, you guys. I love this. How am I looking? Am I looking okay? Or do I look orange? Anyway, it's not about me. It's about the clothes. Always about the clothes. I'm just the accessory. Oh my God, more skirts. This one is vintage. This is my Carrie Bradshaw skirt. How stunning is that? I've worn this so many times. I don't think I can ever let this go. There's just something so unique about this piece and I love the body of it and the length and it's high-waisted. The colors are stunning. It's just a beautiful, beautiful vintage find. I have to keep this. This is H&M. I bought maybe last year in their sale. Very pretty, soft palette, midi skirt, high-waisted, timeless, beautiful, very romantic. Talk about romantic. This is very pretty also, vintage. I thrifted this. I do not think I've ever shot this skirt. I am going to shoot it this spring. It's just so, oh, the color, it's so romantic. I will take romance in any shape or form that I can get it because it's not happening in real life. Okay, boho pants, which are so hard to find. Okay, I love this one, but it's too big on me, but I still wear it. I love it. You know, this suits me, this kind of wide leg, cropped little pantaloon, palooza. What is this? I don't know. It really suits me, but I just wish it was smaller. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep both. This one is vintage and I wore this in Byron and it's just stunning. This pant is absolutely stunning. Look at that color. What a treasure find this was. I thrifted this. This is by Kathmandu. A very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Appropriate, appropriate dress for travel. Linen, it's got pockets, it's a shirt dress. It really is great and it looks even better when I belt it. This is a linen dress that I thrifted. I also like this belted and I love this plaid panel. It's so gorgeous and it's a kind of asymmetrical hem. And when you belt it, it looks just beautiful, stunning. This is a jumpsuit. I actually do own a jumpsuit. I was just saying the other day on my video that I don't wear them because they don't suit me. But this one's vintage. It's from the 70s. And again, it's got that same shape as those 
palm tree, not palm tree, palm leaf pants. And that suits me and I love a square neckline. So flattery. What's going on with the lighting now? Oh my God, help me. Maybe that's better. Oh my God, there's gonna be like 10 different types of lighting settings in one video. I am old, my friends. I am not of this new tech generation. This is a dress I bought from TK Maxx and I love it. I wore it in New York. I was running around New York with this dress and I was so happy. And so when I look at this dress, I get really nostalgic and I love it. It's gorgeous. I bought this dress retail from Anthropology. It's so quirky. I know what I just said about prints, but this is the exception to the rule because it's just so whimsical. It really is. This was from my Making Ugly Vintage Look Cute video. I was gonna sell it because I don't like this neckline. Very, very awful neckline. So worn backwards. It's stunning, so I'm gonna wear it and shoot it because that's special. This is Free People, a gorgeous boho dress that I bought. I mean, look at this. Is that not gorgeous? They do boho so well. This is stunning. I mean, this is just. Another one I bought retail, love it so much. Timeless, teed skirt, so beautiful. I wore this in LA. It's a great travel piece, you guys. It's great. Should I take it with me to Hawaii? I might, you know. This dress is retail and this is my creation. I tie dyed this dress. It was just one color and the color was this all over. It had started to, the color had faded on certain areas of the dress, but I loved the shape. This has pockets and just worn as a very loose, all you can eat dress. Now it's raining. All right, so yeah, this dress. It's stunning. It is my creation, my friends. Apparently, I'm an artist. I thrifted this dress, and to me, this is so Grecian. I can't remember if I wore this in my Grecian style video, though, because I thrifted it way before then. It's beautiful. It has an asymmetrical hem, and I built it, and it's stunning, and I'm going to wear this in Greece. I thrifted this little Karen Walker dress. It's so cute. Ruffled hem, mini length, sleeveless, shirt style with grandpa collar, purple and white polka dot. Love it. This piece was featured in my Grecian style video. I thrifted it. It's by Sundays The Label. It's kind of an off the shoulder dress. It's stunning. It really is stunning. It doesn't look like much, but it's stunning and I'm gonna put that away. This is a vintage little chic dress that I've never worn. I am obsessed with this color and actually I have a bridal shower in November and I think I'm going to wear this. So cute, yes. This little lilac dress that got me into all kinds of trouble. I wore this dress a lot in my early 40s when I was dating and I mean, look how short it is, very short. I would not wear it now, but I'm attached to it. I'm never gonna part with it. I can wear it as a top into a midi skirt. You know when you wear a dress and you just feel cute and you know that you look cute as well? Listen, I'm not a lover, but I know that I look cute in this dress. This, my friends, is my vintage little black dress. Simple, stunning, and can be worn 10 different ways. But I think I'm gonna make a video on how to style a little black dress in 10 different ways. This dress I thrifted, polka dots again, empire waist, mini length, balloon sleeves, off the shoulder, absolutely gorgeous. I wore this on my 50th and you know, I love it. This is a little linen blazer, short sleeve blazer, double breasted that I got from one Zara sale last year. Can't remember, it's beautiful, so cute. Love the pink. How stunning is this print? This is a Suzanne lightweight blazer. I, oh my God, this is stunning, this piece. Look at that. This is a little pink blazer that I thrifted. I've worn this every single spring and I love it. And the last piece in this wardrobe is this wool coat that is vintage. I bought it because one day I plan on having a white Christmas in New York and I am going to be wearing this. It's stunning. And with that, I am done. I am done. Now I can do some sorting out and I will show you guys the final result. I know it doesn't look like it, but I got rid of heaps, you guys. It looks chock full, 
but there's actually a lot of room to rifle through. So on this rack are possible outfits to take with me for my trip, but nothing is really determined yet. And so what I was thinking of doing with this vacation collection of clothing, I'm going to donate while I'm there in Hawaii. So that way I have more room in my suitcase to bring home new pieces from Hawaii. Look at all these hangers. So hopefully those beautiful pieces will find me and I'll be re-inspired and kind of reinvent my personal style again because as I've mentioned, I'm kind of, you know, figuring it out still. My personal style has changed so much. So basically they're not gonna come back into my wardrobe and also the Grecian style pieces are not coming back into this wardrobe because I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wear them on the trip and then don't them all. So I have decluttered a whole lot of stuff. I changed my mind about a few things. So I'm letting go of this striped top from h and I'm also letting go of this blue and white Hawaiian print top. I'm also letting go of that midi skirt that reminded me of Hawaii and also this midi skirt because I'm just not really into the prints all that much. Just changed the battery again. This is battery number three, but we're almost done. So as I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, yes, I'm also getting rid of this printed strapless dress. I have decluttered so much and I am very happy about it. Let me show you. This is everything I'm getting rid of. The Grecian pile over here, the pile that I'm donating over here. There's a few pieces I will put on my shop, but most of it's being donated. Finally, 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 I've done it. I'm so pleased with how my wardrobe is looking, with how much I got rid of. I just feel like I always feel when I do these clear out videos. It just feels Oh, so good, it feels great. I'm excited about what's coming into my wardrobe. So as we speak, I am not here. I am, I'm here, but I'm actually in Honolulu. I am sunning myself and frolicking in the waters of Waikiki Beach and living my best life with my son. This will be the last video before all the Hawaiian content. I'm not sure how much content I'm going to create. Quite sadly, my travel videos don't get many views. But having said that, when I made my New York vlog and the Bali vlogs, I didn't have that many subscribers and that crushes me because I spend so much time editing these travel vlogs but not only that you have to take time away from your actual vacation to document it time taken away from my son from my vacation from being in the moment you're thinking about content as well and so it is an added pressure you are not as carefree as one might be when they're just on their holiday taking pictures and video for their own personal library. I'm not sure if there will be a Hawaiian vlog. There will be a come through with me in Hawaii, I'm sure. I'm also hoping to film a Hawaiian lookbook on the outfits that I wore in Hawaii. I will be on Instagram. I'll be posting photos. I'll be active on stories. So if you want to keep up with us, then please come and follow me on Instagram at the Joe Didi's Aesthetic. And I guess that is a wrap for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in again. I do hope you guys enjoyed this wardrobe clear out and I really hope I see you in my next one.